Hey guys, welcome to Short Note Classes. I am Eva Muhammad Ashik. Guys, today we are going to learn carbon and its compound. We know that in our surrounding there is a lot of matters, lot of compounds or lot of elements. In one of the element is a carbon. Earth crust has only 0.02% of the carbon is in the form of mineral. Example, coal, petroleum, carbonate ore, etc. Whereas in the atmosphere, the availability of carbon is 0.03%. In spite of this small amount of carbon available in nature, but the importance of carbon is seems to be immense. Compounds of the carbon is poor conductor of electricity and low melting and low boiling point. And carbon is exist in the different form. It is also known as allotrope form of carbon. Example diamond and graphite. Next topic is versatile nature of carbon. What do you mean by versatile nature? Example Amitabh Bachchan is a versatile actor. That means he is source for any role as like carbon is source for any element to create the bond. It is known as catenation of carbon. Second one, carbon has a four valency electron. To create the bond, it will be gaining as well as losing the electron known as tetravalency. Because of these two properties, carbon considered as a versatile in nature. Hydrogenation of carbon. Carbon is normally creating the bond with hydrogen. Carbon has four electron and it will be sharing the electron with the four hydrogen known as hydrogenation of carbon. Example C1, H4, methane. Saturated and unsaturated bond. If it is single bond, alkane, then we call it as a saturated bond. Formula for alkane is CnH2n plus 2. If it is double or triple bond known as unsaturated bond. Rubber bond in the sense alkene. Formula of alkene is CnH2n. If it is alkyne, triple bond, then formula is CnH2n minus 2. Then what is N? Here what is N? N in the sense number of carbon. One carbon, then we call it as a meth. Two carbon, eth. Three carbon, prop. Four is but, five is pent and six is hex. It goes on continuous. Guys, listen here, I am going to explain this concept by giving one or two examples. Here I am going to explain alkane, alkene and alkane. We know that formula is for, formula for alkane is CnH2n plus 2, alkene is CnH2n and alkyne is CnH2n minus 2. And n in, n in the sense number of carbon, here if it is one carbon that means it is called it as a meth. Meth plus n, n means single bond that we call it as a methane. Here one carbon creating single bond with hydrogen that means C1H4 it is methane there is no methane and methane why because the carbon is not able to create double bond with the hydrogen and methane is used as a fuel in CNG compressed natural gases and it is the main component in biogas. Next example is probe probe in the sense 3 carbon probe in the sense 3 carbon if it is creating single bond then propane prop in the sense 3 carbon creating single bond n that means single bond here 3 carbon creating single bond remaining bond create shared with the hydrogen example this carbon already already has one bond and remaining three bond created with the shared with the hydrogen here this carbon has two bond remaining two bond with hydrogen this carbon has one bond remaining three bond shared with hydrogen here c3 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. H8 is propane. Let's talk about propene. In in the sense double bond. In in the sense double bond. Prop in the sense 3 carbon. At the beginning or at the end has to create double bond. And here this carbon has already already have one, one bond with the carbon. And remaining 3 bond shared with the hydrogen. This carbon already has 3 bond. Remaining 1 bond with hydrogen this carbon last carbon has two uh, two bond already created two bond remaining one bond with the hydrogen and one bond with another hydrogen propine propine ion in the sense triple bond ion in the sense triple bond prop in the sense three carbon at the beginning or at the end it will be creating triple bond this carbon has one bond and remaining three bond shared with the hydrogen and mid carbon middle one carbon has four bond already it, it has four bond no need to share the bond with hydrogen and last carbon has already three bond remaining one bond is shared with hydrogen here c3 h4 in meat in propene is c3 h6 guys this is about alkane alkene and alkyne i hope you understand this topic 
Next topic is functional group of carbon. Carbon has four functional group: alcohol, aldehyde, ketone, and carboxylic acid. The compounds of the carbon ended by OL. Then it is in the group of alcohol. Here, one hydrogen replaced by OH. If it is ended by ALE, then we consider it is in the group of aldehyde. Here, two hydrogen replaced by double bond oxygen. If it is ended by ONE, then that means it is in the group of ketone. Here also, two hydrogen replaced by double bond oxygen. If the compound is ended by OIC acid, then it is in the group of carboxylic acid. Here, one hydrogen replaced by OH and two hydrogen replaced by double bond oxygen. Guys, here here also I am going to complete or explain this topic by giving. One or two example. Okay, let's talk about functional group of carbon by giving some example. Alcohol is prefixed by OL and here one hydrogen replaced by OH. Now, here example I am taking an example of eth. Eth in the sense two carbon. Example ethanol. Ethanol. Here OL. OL in the sense it is in the group of alcohol. It is in. Ethane, not in. Ethane, in in the sense single bond. Here, ethane in the sense two carbon. Carbon was creating single bond, and remaining bond shared with hydrogen. This carbon has already done four bond, but last carbon sharing the bond with OH and remaining with hydrogen. Here, one hydrogen, one OH is replaced by one hydrogen. Sorry, hydrogen is replaced by one OH. Total C two H five. OH is ethanol. Let's talk about ethanol. Ethanol. Here ALE. ALE in the sense it is in the group of aldehyde. Here carbon. Here carbon and hydrogen is replaced. Double two hydrogen replaced double bond oxygen. N in the sense single bond. Two carbon creating the single bond. Here two hydrogen replaced by double bond oxygen. This carbon had or this carbon already has. Three bond remaining one bond shared with hydrogen here three bond shared with hydrogen totally C two H four and double bond O ketone the prefix example ethanol O N E if prefix is O N E then it is in the group of ketone here double bond oxygen replaced by two hydrogen same as aldehyde eth in the sense two carbon n in the sense single bond and Double bond oxygen. Here, this carbon already has three bond remaining. One bond shared with hydrogen. This carbon already had already has one bond and remaining three bond shared with hydrogen, known as ethanol. C two H four double bond O. Carboxylic acid. Example: ethanoic acid. Ethanoic. Ethanoic acid. Here, oic acid. In the sense, it is in the group of. It is in the group of. Carboxylic acid, eth in the sense two carbon, n in the sense single bond. Okay, if it is oic acid, here one carbon was replaced by OH and two carbon was replaced by double bond O. The last carbon one is replaced by OH and two carbon is replaced by double bond O. This carbon already had four bond and this carbon had has one bond remaining, three bond shared with hydrogen. Here C two one two three. H3 double bond O and OS. This is the example for ethanoic acid. That means carboxylic acid. We can also continue with this example by propanoic acid, propanol, butanol, pentanol, hexanol, etc. Next topic is homologous series. Homologous series is such a series of a compound of same functional group. Here, hydrogen is substituted by carbon chain. Example: C one H four is methane. C two H six is ethane. C three H eight is propane. C four is H ten is equal to butane. C five H twelve pentane. C six H fourteen is hexane. Difference between these two. Example: methane. Difference between the methane and ethane is CH two. Ethane and propane is CH two. Propane and butane is CH two. Butane and pentane is CH two. And pentane and hexane is CH two. Guys, this homologous series is suitable for each functional group of carbon. Next topic is properties of ethanol. Ethanol is liquid in room temperature. It is ingredient to prepare alcohol, and it is a solvent dissolved in the water. That is why used in medicine, tincture iodine, cold cough syrup, and many tonics. Now, 
properties of ethanoic acid ethanoic acid is in the form of acetic acid and it is in the functional group of carboxylic acid we know that carboxylic acid is weak acid 5 to 8 percent of acetic acid is known as vinegar we are using vinegar in pickle it meant that 290 degree kelvin and during the winter it will be freeze that is why it is also called it as a glacier acid so now we are going to learn about the esterification and saponification here ester by the reaction of alcohol and carboxylic acid example ethanol react with the ethanoic acid to produce ester ester is very sweet smell that is why it is used in used in flavoring agent in perfume saponification saponification is the opposite of esterification to get alcohol and carboxylic acid from the ester here the reaction of saponification by adding the sodium hydroxide to the ester to separate alcohol carboxylic acid along with sodium salt we know that long chain of sodium and potassium salt is making of soap let's talk about micelle formation and cleaning action of soap soap has two molecular and hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail hydrophilic attracted towards the water whereas hydrophobic attracted towards the dirt when we are adding the dirt cloth on the soap solution hydrophilic move towards the water whereas hydrophobic move towards the dirt this call it as this formation we call it as a micelle formation by thermal agitation dirt can be removed easily known as cleaning action of soap The last topic is anion C4 minus and C4 plus cation. When carbon was creating the bond, by gaining the electron, it will be form C4 minus anion. That means it is difficult to carbon hold 10 electron because the nucleus of the carbon has 6 proton. Here, 4 electron is extra for the carbon. When carbon was creating the bond, by losing the electron, by losing the 4 electron, it will be form C4 plus cation. Here it is difficult and requires more energy to separate the 4 electron from the carbon because the nucleus of the carbon has 6, uh, six proton and here only 2 electron is remained. Guys we have completed 70 to 80% of the chapter and don't forget to subscribe, share and like my videos. To get the latest updation press the bell icon. Thank you.